whether you consider yourself an animal lover or not, cruelty to animals is very upsetting in the eyes of the majority of people. Cruelty and abuse towards cats, dogs, or any other pet not only gets the attention of the media, but can be punishable by law. Yet cruelty to animals on farms is ignored. What is considered standard practice under the law is cruelty to anyone with common sense. Animal rights activists such as Animal Outlook are fighting to change that. Currently, they were able to challenge Pennsylvania law. In Pennsylvania's legal code, the ability of private citizens to challenge government officials' decisions not to prosecute, Animal Outlook was able to circumvent the invisibility and set new precedent for animal law. Animal Outlook presented a list of 327 incidents determined constituted animal cruelty, aggravated cruelty, and neglect under Pennsylvania law, many of which were captured on video. In this undercover video, our investigator brings you behind the closed doors of the dairy industry. Some cruelty documented here at Martin Farms is unlike anything we've ever seen. At the same time, this video also shows what life is like for cows on a typical dairy factory farm. Our investigator followed a truck from Martin Farms straight to an ice cream plant operated by Nestle, the world's largest dairy company. Nestle churns this cruelly sourced milk into ice cream brands like Dryers, haagen and Edie's. Though the dairy industry wants you to believe in its happy cow fairy tale, the hard to swallow truth is there's cruelty in every drop of milk. The court found that Animal Outlook had demonstrated sufficient evidence of neglect and cruelty from Martin Farms' handling of downed cows, excessive shocking and tail pulling, and horn removal, and that it was exempted from prosecution under Pennsylvania's normal agricultural operations exemption. Under Pennsylvania Right to Farm Act, it states that agricultural operations often become the subject of nuisance suits and ordinances. As a result, agricultural operations are sometimes forced to seize operations. Nuisance suits are often, well, a nuisance. Yet why is needless suffering to an animal, such as painful dewarning practices, seen this way? For a plaintiff to successfully sue someone for creating a public nuisance, he must be able to prove all the same facts that pertain to a private nuisance lawsuit as well as the following. And the thing that I would like to highlight here is that any potential usefulness that the defendant's behavior may have provided is outweighed by the severity of harm he has created. The good news is that the court's ruling that even so-called standard practices such as disbutting vulnerable calves with hot irons and without pain medication are not immune from prosecution sends a clear message animals used in agriculture are worthy of protection. The bad news, however, is that dehorning is a very common practice. It is also an extremely painful practice. This isn't just some rare or horrible instance with Martin Farms working for a big company such as Nestle. Pretty much every farm does this for the safety and protection of their farmers and workers. How many farmers do this without the use of proper pain medication is very uncertain. As much as we would all like to believe that farmers are just hardworking and compassionate toward their animals comes into question. As a vegan who champions many animal right activists, there is something missing here. While it is very important to bring awareness and education to the public on these issues, it is only the first step. The second step is to fight the legal and political systems within your local area. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know all the legalities of fighting the system. If you, me, and other activists are going to make any real changes, we need to research, educate, and understand the dry and often bureaucratic systems in place. So for now, I would like to strongly congratulate Animal Outlook for their hard work and of course, their future cases. It was a painful burden, 
yet for the sake of animals, it needed to be done. If you enjoy these type of videos, please do consider subscribing, like the video, and share it with others. Until next time, I hope you are all well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!